Well, uh, in uh, in First Corinthians fifteen uh, fifty one, and also First Thessalonians four sixteen seventeen, those who people who died in Christ will be the one, first one to be resurrected with those people who will be alive. You, you see, it's got to be like this, Sister Awi. When Christ will appear in the clouds of heaven, there will be two groups of people. Uh, the one group will be excited, will be glad, because uh, according to Prophet Isaiah in the Isaiah 25, 9, we, uh, this is our Lord who we have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice for his salvation. These are those people who will who love his appearing. And then the other group, there will be uh, people who will say, hide us to the uh, mountain or uh, stones because we don't like the uh, glorious face of uh, uh, the king who is appearing in the clouds of heaven. In other words, there are some people, those who died in Christ, according to Paul and uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16, they will be the first one to be resurrected. These are the saints, the, the righteous people who are repented uh, from their sins and uh, received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And what uh, Paul says that they will be uh, resurrected with those people who will never taste death. They, uh, they will be together brought into heaven and meet uh, Jesus forevermore. So that's the rapture. That's the resurrection, yeah, the rapture. So what is tribulation? Uh, I think it's just the same because, uh, Mr. Awi, what I know about tribulation, uh, probably uh, these are also kind of uh, tests, uh, I mean trials and persecutions. Because uh, in, um, in uh, John 16.33, uh, Jesus said to us, this is a promise to the Lord. Uh, these things I have spoken unto you, Jesus said, in this world you have tribulation, but be of good, good cheer. I have overcome the world. Individually, Sister Awi, when we have a right connection with God, we will not be worried of the tribulation in trials and hardships in this life. Because God promises that he will give us peace is the passive understanding. And what about second coming? Uh, the second coming of Jesus, according to the Bible, especially in the book of Revelation, uh, after this, uh, what we call uh, first and uh, second resurrection, we call it also a rapture, as others Christians use the term rapture, but uh, I'm using the resurrection. Uh, you, you see, the, the, there is what we call the uh, resurrection, and then uh, when Christ will come the second time, He will uh, receive His people, because uh, that's His promise in John 14, 6, where I am, there you may be also. And so when He took up those people, those who love Him, and be with uh, Him for eternity in heaven, uh, I can say, Sister Awi, there, there is what we call a uh, millennium message doctrine if uh, that means 1000 years uh, vacation for the righteous those who will be saved in heaven and then uh, after the 1000 years in heaven those who will be saved they will be uh, uh, going around you know like uh, vacationing to other planets and then after that uh, event jesus will uh, come again and then uh, uh, receive his people and be with him for eternity. That's already the second coming of Jesus, Mr. Awi. Thank you so much, Brother Nestor. We have just brought you Public Affairs by International News Media. This is your host, Awi Abeyadi.